Tonight, at least 50 people are homeless after a fire spread through two buildings and destroyed a garage. This happened in South Minneapolis just before 1130 last night. Fox 9's Mike Manzoni is live there tonight. And so, Mike, so many people lost everything. What's the response this evening? And Kelsey, tonight the Red Cross is helping those people find a place to stay. They're setting them up uh, with a room at a church. The fire started in what was a garage here and quickly spread to buildings on either side. You can still see all the burned cars at this hour. People who lived in the motel just next door already dealt with homelessness in the past, and now they're facing it again. In just minutes. This is sad. Flames tore through a motel, an apartment building, and a garage on Lindale Avenue South in Minneapolis. When that car exploded, shards obviously flew out. They didn't hear alarms when it happened late Wednesday night, only cries for help. If it weren't for the screams, then we would have stayed there. The flames melted blinds, torched ACs, charred shingles, and destroyed more than a few cars. One of my other neighbors, he had just recently gotten his new car like a month ago. About 20 homeless people recently moved into this motel. Now they're back where they started. She had lived there for, I want to say, about a week, and that happened. She said her IDs, everything, passports, everything she had burned. Celine Castillo lived next door to the motel. The fire damaged her apartment badly enough that she had to leave. Right now we were trying to get everything expensive in hopes of selling it, get money back. Her brother Daniel wasn't there when the fire started. I'm grateful that I was at work because I normally park in the garage here. It's very scary because it, it, it's one moment it's not you, you don't think it's going to happen to you and then the next you know it happens to you. And tonight, investigators are still working to try to figure out what exactly caused the fire. Three people ended up going to the hospital, including two firefighters. We're live in South Minneapolis tonight. Mike Manzoni, Fox 9. All right, Mike, thank you. The